Chatsworth 2008. It was the worst disaster in Metrolink history. 25 dead, more than 100 people hurt. And now, after years of excuses, the head of the company who employed the engineer came face to face with families for the first time. And tonight, they shared their painful stories of loss with him. And KCAL 9's Rachel Kim was there. I had my 13th birthday party was being told that my dad was dead. Her father. He broke every bone in his back. Her son. I'll never be the same again. His injuries. Those who survived or lost loved ones in the September 12, 2008 Metrolink crash in Chatsworth seek compassion and compensation. I'm in a different place than all my friends. I mean, they're really worried about, you know, their makeup and their cute clothes. And I'm worried about my mom and how my brother's going to go to college. Tonight, for the first time, survivors and families of victims of the crash that killed 25 and injured more than 100 met with the head of Veolia. That's the company who employed the engineer that caused the crash. Representative Elton Galligley from Simi Valley organized the meeting so those who suffered and lost can tell their stories to the company face to face. Oh, I was in ICU for 19 days. Kumar Shankar was riding in the first car, and what he wants now is simple. Just something fair from these people who are hiding behind the law and not wanting to shell out any money. A federal judge recently approved a $200 million settlement fund, but survivors and victims' families say their expenses will far exceed that amount. We're hoping that uh, maybe today, by seeing a, a human face, that they'll be human. Federal investigators blame the crash on engineer Robert Sanchez. CBS2 and KCAL9 were first to report he had been text messaging on his phone, missed a red light, and crashed head-on into a freight train. The personal stories we heard today and put something with it makes a, a big difference in, in our message out there to our employees. And, and you know what they owe the, the, the traveling public out there, the safety is in their hands. Live now in Simi Valley, Representative Galligley just reintroduced a bill in Congress that would increase the settlement fund from $20 million to, or $200 million rather to $275 million. He says it's going to be a tough bill to pass because the current law has a loophole that protects foreign companies like Veolia. Reporting live tonight from Simi Valley, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.